It could have been a lot worse for supporters of the North Carolina Film Incentive Program. Some Republicans in the General Assembly wanted to scrap the quarter of a billion dollar program altogether. Eventually, the governor signed a slimmed down version of the program, which will provide a $10 million grant to the film industry this January. Kara Lyle has the story. Have you seen this? How about this? Or more recently, this. Invisible fence. Iron Man 3, The Hunger Games, and the CBS television show Under the Dome all have one thing in common. They were filmed in North Carolina. But with the recent changes in the state's film incentives program, there's concern far fewer productions will come here. More than 40 productions have filmed in North Carolina so far this year, spanning across 35 counties. Director of the Wilmington Regional Film Commission, Johnny Griffin, says this year alone, film production companies will spend about $300 million in the state. We've got series that are spending $35 million, $50, $60 million. So all of that money that they are spending will not be here next year because those productions will leave. Currently, the North Carolina film industry provides more than 4,000 jobs in the Wilmington area alone. All this has brought in tons of tourism money for North Carolina. They come down, they see Wilmington, and then they want to spend more time here. Opponents of the program say the state shouldn't provide millions of dollars in incentives to companies such as the film industry that currently part-time or temporary jobs. Thousands of Wilmington area residents disagree. They all came out to Battleship Park recently to take one large group picture to suggest how many people and jobs will be affected by sharp cuts in the film incentives program. Trust me, there are other states that are watching North Carolina right now and are literally licking their chops. In Wilmington, I'm Carolyle reporting.